Hey everyone, next Halloween tutorial, and as you can see, I'm a ventriloquist dummy. I've been getting tons and tons and tons of messages on MySpace about the picture that I have on there where I look like a ventriloquist doll, and then I've been getting tons of emails in my email address or my email account for tutorial request purposes about people wanting me to redo that look or that they're going to be a ventriloquist doll for Halloween. So I thought I would go ahead and do this tutorial for them and for anyone else who just wants to see it. And yeah, so did it. Up the ante, made it a lot better than last time, and that's pretty much it. So let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial so started. So your first step, you're going to go ahead and just draw out your eye shape, however you're going to want your eyes to look. Mainly with ventriloquist dowels, they have a really deep set crease, so you're really going to want to emphasize the crease. And then you can either stop it at the bottom of your actual eye or just draw out a new eye shape underneath. It's all going to be up to you. I'm just going to draw out a new shape and then get my crease started. And I'm just using cream liner from MAC. And I'm really excited to say that MAC is selling their cream liners again because they took them away for the longest time. But now they're back and you can get them at MAC Pro Stores or from the Pro website um, in black or brown. I'm using the black. And then I'm just going to determine the shape I'm going to want my eye to have. And then I'll just draw it out and then I'll just continue with the shape that I have going on down here and then I'll just go ahead and give myself a new crease now that I have that on I'm just gonna go and take any eye primer and I'm just gonna use bare canvas paint and then above the black line that I drew, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this primer. I just grabbed handwritten eyeshadow. It's a dark brown with a slight reddish tint to it, so it's got a little warmth going on. And I'm just going to apply that right at the base of my new crease. So right on this black line, I'm just going to apply it and I'm just using a small shading brush. wipe off all the extra powder that's on my brush right now and I always have a paper towel on my leg I don't know if you guys ever notice I always wipe my brushes off there's always a paper towel on my leg so I can just dust colors off very easily and then I'll just start to blend it out once that's done with the brown or whatever color like you can use any color that you want to use for that you could go with a bright blue you can do greens purple any color it doesn't matter but now that that's done I'm just gonna take carbon eyeshadow um, I'm sure most of you know what carbon looks like. It's just a black. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I just right. did. To mention, you can be totally messy when you're doing the crease color. You don't have to worry or freak about getting any on your lid. Because you're going to take a Q-tip, get a little eye makeup remover on it. I'm using Max Pro Eye Makeup Remover. And this is one of my favorites only because it dries instantly and doesn't leave an oily residue on the skin. So you can instantly reapply makeup right after you use it. And so I'm just going to use the Q-tip to go ahead and go in and clean up the edge of the crease. Then once the eye makeup remover has dried, you can go ahead and do the primer on your lid. You can use the same thing you used before. You can use something else. If you're going to use a colored eyeshadow, then by all means use a colored primer if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and take Fascinating Eye Coal. It's just a white eyeliner. And any white eyeliner will do if you're going to use white. It doesn't really matter because it's an eyeliner, so it's safe to go on your eyelid. And then just go ahead and fill in your lid. And then just lightly blend the white right against the black. Put some white down here. And then also get it on my waterline. And then just blend. Now that I have the white on, I don't want my lid to remain white, but I want everything down here underneath to stay white so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm going to use brulee which is just a nice cream color and then I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid then once you have the color on your lid if you want to set the eyeliner underneath you can so I'm just gonna use a white eyeshadow I just grabbed um, pearl powder eyeshadow by Kryolan but you could use like 
Crystal Avalanche, Vellum, anything like that. Just, it's white eyeshadow. Any white eyeshadow will work. So, I'm just going to press that on top of the liner that's underneath my eye. Do you have a pro store near you or you have lash mixing medium and pure white pigment, anything like that, then just do mascara on your bottom lashes. I'm just using Platinum Prush, uh, Platinum Plus Pro Lash. Ugh, that's a hard one to say. It's just white mascara. I used it in my Frozen video, but I'm just going to use it again. And then I'm going to pick up a little espresso eyeshadow. It's just a brown. And I'm going to draw out the shape that I want with my brows. And just for fun, I'm going to do them how I'm going to do the brows for one of my Halloween costumes. But since I mentioned my brow is going to be lifted, I'm actually going to lift it now so I can see how I'm going to need to draw the shape on. Now that I have the brows on, and you can see they're drawn on uneven, I did that on purpose because I want one to go a little bit higher than the other. I don't want them to be symmetrical. So now that I have that on, I'm going to kind of hop away from the eyes just for a little bit, and then I'm actually going to start doing the skin. So I want my skin to look lighter, so I'm going to use a lighter foundation. I'm using Studio Fix Fluid because it's full coverage, and I can really, really pack it on and get heavy, heavy coverage out of this. And I pretty much want my skin to look as fake as possible. So if you really, really pack it on, this is going to be the one time that you're going to throw on tons and tons of makeup that looks as unnatural as possible. I'm going to go back to the eyes, and I'm going to finish the brows. Now I'm going to go ahead and take an eyeliner, or you could use a cream, anything like that, and really, really make the brow stand out. So I'm just going to go over what I already etched out with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to repeat some of the steps that I did on the crease on my lower lash line, but my new lower lash line. I'm going to take passionate eyeshadow, uh, handwritten eyeshadow, and just do the same thing. But I'm not going to blend them out as far. I'm just mainly going to focus on keeping the color pretty close to the line, but just to give a little bit more dimension. And then, I know I mentioned in an earlier video, I don't remember which one it was, but where you hold your brush, I think it was the video for the skull mask that I just did, I don't know. Um, but I mentioned how wherever you hold your brush depends on how much pressure and how like the color goes on or how soft everything will be. You'll notice that I already blended on this side. If I hold from far away, it's not really going to blend that harsh line. So I actually take it and I hold it right at the tip of the brush and kind of squeeze the bristles together. So I can really, really get the color to start blending. Then once I have the majority of it blended, then I can go back a little bit farther on the handle and really just focus on softening all the edges. Now that I have a little bit of the contouring done, I'm going to start my actual cheek color. I'm going to take Fuchsia Perfect Cream Color Base. And this isn't the brush I really want to use with it. I'm using a 187. I want something a little bit stiffer, so a 109 would probably be a little bit better, but I'm going to pick it up on the brush and then just right on the apple of my cheek, I'm going to put this cream color base. To make it look even shinier, I'm going to take Warmed Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm going to pick it up on the same exact brush. And then on the areas that I just put the Fuchsia Perfect, I'm going to put this, and it's going to make my skin look a little bit more like wax, and have this really, really nice shine to it without looking greasy. Okay, and since I'm a sucker for anything that is way too dramatic and over the top, I want my contour to be a little bit more. So, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of a darker color. I'm just going to use handwritten again. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more to my contour. Okay, then once you have your contouring up to par how you want it, you can see I liked mine very dramatic, you can start to work on the mouth. So what we're going to do for that is first we're going to take our angled brush that we used earlier, and I'm just going to take some of the cream liner again. And you're going to draw the lines from the corner of your mouth down. And then... 
you can just shade this area if you want to and make it look like that. But I'm all about making it look more realistic. So, for photo purposes or anything like that, because it's Halloween, you know you're going to be taking a ton of pictures. A really good trick is if you go up from the bottom of your chin and go up a little bit. And then just go ahead and make a little dash right there. And then go ahead and follow your natural jawline. But let it go underneath your jawline closer to the back. Then once you have them on, you can go ahead and take a brush. I'm going to just use Kryolan again. I'm going to use the black with water-based mixing medium. And then fill in that black area. So now you probably have something like this. And you'll notice there's that really, really harsh dramatic or harsh line right there. And you're going to want to soften it up. So you can just take a brush and you can actually take eyeshadow that you've used earlier before, anything like that. And you're just going to contour the same area. But you're kind of going to do it reverse. Instead of making your highlight up here, you're going to kind of reverse backwards. So you want the colors to blend and do your darker color, but blend it up instead of going down this time. Okay. Now that I have that all shaded, I'm going to do a little bit of blending in here. And it's just very, very minimal. Nothing too dramatic. I'm just starting at the line and blending inwards because we want this area to seem like it's out the farthest because that's the middle of the chin and make it look like this is wrapping around. So same thing, just do a little bit of contouring. Good. Now you can go ahead and do, I would do false eyelashes now, now that I think about it. And as you can see, I have my lashes on the top and the bottom. The longer the lashes, the better, but I'm gonna stress that you probably don't want them to be super, super thick. You kinda want the really long, thin, dolly kinda eyelashes. Now I'm gonna do my lips. And I noticed ventriloquists, dolls, dummies, whatever you want to call them, have more of a pinky red lip. So I'm going to do more of a stain on my lip because I could do a nude lip, but it just won't look all that great. So I'm just going to take Cran Apple Cream Stick Pearl Liner and then just do a light, light stain on the lips. So just put a little bit on the center of your bottom lip and work it across. Then lightly underneath... Just do a little contour to make that bottom lip curl out more. Oh, there's a cat. What? Then once you're done doing all your shading, contouring, whatever you want to do to your lips, uh, you can go ahead and throw on a little gloss. And as a little shout out to my friend Michael in Massachusetts, I'm going to use some cushy white because we are cushy white buddies and ample pink mm -hmm. and angel cream but yeah it's cushy white plush glass just gonna apply that and then the very last step or second to last step for a costume like this the last step is getting dressed um, since my brows are like this and I mentioned I was gonna make them look uneven and the way I did my crease and I said pay attention this is why I'm going to take clear medical tape and spirit I'm gum. I'm going to apply the spirit gum where I'm going to want it. But then once you have that, you can take your tape. And you can apply some of it to your tape too and do the same thing, make it sticky. But then I just place my tape on the spirit gum and you can see it's going to lift everything. Make sure it's on. And then I just lift where I want it and tape. That's all I got to do. And you can see how big of a difference it makes on each side. And I'll actually probably bring it up just a little bit Finishing more. touch would be go ahead, touch up anything on your face that you think needs a little bit more. Go throw on your gear and then you're ready to go. So that concludes this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Get a few tips and tricks to help you for your Halloween costume. And I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.